Type 1 diabetes is at epidemic levels around the globe and increasing rapidly. It's an autoimmune disease that attacks the insulin-producing cells in the pancreas, which lets patients' blood sugar soar. Diabetics have to constantly check their blood sugar to gauge how much insulin they need. Now a study just published in NPJ Vaccines has found a completely new approach to controlling type 1 diabetes, a new use for the tuberculosis vaccine known as BCG. The principal author, Dr. Denise Faustman from Harvard and the Mass General Hospital, describes the vaccine in this YouTube video. BCG is a 100-year-old drug. It's uh, heralded as the safest vaccine in the history of the world. So we're working with a known drug, a known vaccine that has impeccable safety. The study found that when adults with long-standing type 1 diabetes were given two BCG vaccines a month apart, three years later, their diabetes was reversed. Their blood sugar stabilized and stayed stable for up to eight years so far. The theory for how the vaccine works was thought to be that it re-educated certain white blood cells so that they would stop attacking the insulin-producing beta cells in the pancreas. Turns out it may be doing even more. What it seems to show is that the body's way that it processes glucose is altered in, um, with, with repeated administration of this vaccine. Dr. Faustman is currently running a larger five-year-long double-blind study where neither the doctors or diabetics know whether they're getting the active vaccine. But if the study results are confirmed, this is a major change in diabetes treatment. This is absolutely a big deal for um, type 1 diabetes. Now, Dr. Lamb isn't ready to call this a cure just yet, and neither is the Harvard researcher. But there is a lot of excitement around this, partly because the benefit has lasted for years, and also because the vaccine may stop or slow other autoimmune diseases from rheumatoid arthritis to lupus. So this is potentially really interesting. So 